Hi, if you like first reaction authentic gameplay, you've come to the right place. We're currently playing Bug Snacks, and today we're going to go and find out if we can build the bridge that connects another part of the island and try and find some more Grumpuses. I think we might have to pick up some side quests along the way uh, to give us some clues how to do that. And also, there's a bigger mystery happening on the island that we don't know yet. There's some creature or a larger Bug Snack that's causing chaos on the island. So hopefully we can find out some more clues around that. Let's go and find out what the Grumpuses are up to. I shall see you in Snacksburg. Okay, everybody's up early this morning in Snacksburg. I wonder what everybody's been up to. It looks like they're getting ready for another party. Should we go and check what um, Cromdo is selling in his shop? Yeah. Oh, we can interview him actually. Let's do that first. Um, Hey Cromdo, got time for an interview? Or are you gonna try and scam us again? All right, I could use some practice. They'll be interviewing me every day when I'm a gazillionaire. <laughs> a gazillionaire, not a gazillion billionaire. Let's start the interview. Uh, same question as everyone. Tell us who you are, Crumdo. Business King, Sales Savant, future CEO of Starbucks, the one, the only, Crumdo Face! Yay! <laughs> it's also a rip-off merchant, as we found out in the last episode. Um, but let's find out, why did you come to Snacktooth Island, you con artist? You ever smell the future, kid? Huh? I can tell you, Lisbeth stank of opportunity. She came on TV talking big about this new superfood, and I wanted in. So I quit my dead-end job and followed that stench of possibility. <laughs> Your dead end job? Ah, I used to go door to door selling gruel to grandmas. Paid on commission for grump's sake. For grump's sake. And what are your thoughts on bug snacks? <laughs> what do I think of? <laughs> Delicious! Irresistible! Marketable! They're gonna catapult me straight to the top of Money Town, baby! Only people don't deal in money here, they're dealing bug snacks. Um, why did you leave town? Yeah, I tried to make use of what Lisbert didn't need anymore, and Befica didn't like that. Yeah, she went and told everyone that I'm a thief. Um, but weren't you stealing? I was salvaging! That's a community service, pal! But Befica planted evidence in my hut, said I stole her diary. So I did what any honest grump would do. I ran. Yeah, nice try, Diddy. Anyway, any info on Lisbeth? Because we need to find her. We've got an interview to do for the newspaper. Oh, don't get me started. Everyone here thinks she's so great. Such a fantastic leader. But I know the truth. She came here to stroke her ego and get Egabel her fix. The rest of us were just pssst, disposable. Oh, don't say that. Just saying you're disposable, that's pretty cold. That's Elizabeth Megafig. When push came to shove, she abandoned us. Nah, I don't think she abandoned us. I think she's trapped somewhere. But what do you mean? Tell me more. I, I gotta confess, I was thinking about sailing home after things got hairy. But when I went looking for our boat, it was gone. There's only two grumps missing. You do the math. <laughs> I bet Liz and Egg are living large in New Grump City by now. Calm down, calm down, Crumdo. That's enough for now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get it, pal. I'm not the nicest grumpus around. I learned early on that life is like a box of trash. You always know what you're gonna get. Trash. <laughs> Just go check out where the boat was. See what you think of Lisbon after that. Crumdo gave us a new clue. We've got a map to the boat. Let's check the journal for details. Let's do that straight away. So, where's our clues? Up at the top. Um, this one? Oh yeah, Boiling Bay map. At the end of the Boiling Bay, past the shipwreck, Liz was definitely over there. You'll see Crumdo. Okay, well, at the moment, I don't know how to get over that way, but... Uh, Let's see, actually, can we get into our boat? We can get into our boat. I've never been in here before. Let's have a little look around. Can we scan? See if there is anything? 
Nah, it's nothing worth there. I didn't realise we could go in there. Uh, okay, let me see what quest we're doing, and then we've got some some idea. So we need to find Flufty, but Flufty is over in Boiling Bay. Um, then we also need to find Shelder, who's over in Sizzling Sands. These are both over the bridge. And have we got any more? I think we've done all those quests. And then in terms of the side quests, we've got Snoppy would like to talk to you about something. Oh, okay, let's go and talk to Snoppy. And then Cromdo would like to talk to us about something too. And then has Wombus got something he wants to talk to us? Okay, let's go and find out what these guys want. Let's talk to Snoppy, Cromdo, and Wombus. I think probably Wombus is going to be first. Let's speak to him. Ah, I'm just saying, uh, maybe. Uh, your whole premise is flawed from the get-go. If bug snacks aren't like plants, then no amount of elbow grease is going to make this work. Triffy, I thought you were here to support me. Oh, I am. It's just, um, you keep trying this over and over, and one of these days you gotta pack it in. <sighs> so I'm on my own. Well, if that's how you choose to look at it. Ah, oh, they've still got marital issues. Wombus, you wanna talk? Any luck so far? What does it look like? I'm sorry. I'm just about at the end of my rope. I'm done taking it slow. Just get me every sort of bug snack that digs underground. I reckon it might aerate the soil or something. Um, do you think that'll really work? Oh, I must look mighty foolish sticking to my guns like this. But you don't give up just because things get tough. If nobody else believes in me, I gotta believe in myself. It's that or... or nothing. Oh, fair enough, man. You do what you gotta do. Let's see if we can help you out. We might have some snacks already that we can plant. Let's have a look. Ah, no, we don't have anything. Absolutely zilch. But we can pick some of these up. Let's see if we can top all the bar. Um, what do we call this? Ammunition up. Oh, we've got that already full. What about these ones? That's already maxed. Okay, so we need to get uh, plant a snackery and an incherito and a serby. So I think snackeries are down by the beach. I'm not sure where sherbies and incheritos are. Uh, who else do we need to speak to? We need to speak to Cromdo. There's another one. Let's speak to him. Want some? Hey, Cromdo. You're looking like you're scheming, man. Hey, pal. I got a business opportunity for you. I got a tip that Triffany found some sort of treasure map while she was digging around. They say it'll lead to a huge bug snack. Imagine what a snack that size is worth. I was thinking of taking that map off her paws. That's where you come in. Get me a bug snack so delicious that Triffany would die for it and we'll trade. Then we'll split the profits 50-50. Come on, say it. 50 50. I clearly said 50. <laughs> Shady. Well, you might be in luck. I think we might have that map because we've already fed Trifney. Was it Trifney? Uh, catch a buffalo. Yeah, take care. Oh, no, it wasn't Trifney, was it? It was uh, Wiggle that we fed. Let me just check what he wanted again. Oh, he wants a buffalo cost. Okay, I'm not sure where that's going to be. That's probably going to be in the other area that we can't reach yet. So, who else do we need to speak to? Was it Chandler? What's up? No, it was Snoppy, wasn't it? I'm going to speak to Snoppy. Where is he? Snoppy? You got yes, some... yes, hello. Um... Talk to us. How's it going, Snoppy? Ah, chum! Good to see you on this ordinary tyranny-free day. Let us talk pleasantly of the weathers. Uh, yeah, the weather. Wink, wink. I've discovered something terrible. My seismic readings show that activity in the mountain is growing stronger and more frequent over time. We must find the source of the quakes before the situation grows out of control. 
There is an unusually large bug snack on the mountain that I'm certain is involved. The formidable Scoopy Banoopy. Disassemble it and dispose of the components in my mouth, and once more we will have thwarted the Grumpanati. That sounds delicious. Okay, well, I think that we might be going back up to the mountain. I did want to unlock uh, the other side of Scorching Gorge, or Scorch Gorge as it's called. Um, but we might be heading up to the mountain. First of all, let's see if we can uh, do Chandler's little side quest. Can we? Uh, no, terrible. Let's do this again. Where would be the angle? Let's try from there. No! Oh my days. Okay, a bit further back from here. Nah, a little bit further forward. And can we do it that again? Repeat. Rinse, repeat. Yes. But wait a minute. There's a side quest for that. So let's have a look. Let's have a look. Where is Chandelo? I think maybe we missed it. That's a shame. I'm just going to double check. No, I think we might have missed that. What a shame. I'm sure that there was a quest to shoot two hoops without touching the ground. But anyway, okay, let's go in and catch a Snoopy Banoopy. Wiggle, what are you up to? How's it going? Ah, uh, yeah, kind of all right. I can't cross the bridge though. Have you got any ideas how to do that? And actually, one thing that we can do, we can make some donations to Gramble's little um, donation box here. And who wanted a meaty snack? That was Chandler, wasn't it? Let's go and feed Chandler. Chandler, where did you go? You just was here a minute ago. Greetings. Greetings. Chandler, where did you go? Where is he hiding? A wiggle, 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 He's wiggle. now gone back up to the mountain, Ooh, has he? Oh, we've got mail. Ladies. Let's pick up our mail. <laughs> Thanks for calming the crowd, buddy. The others might bite a lot, but I know that we'll all come together when things get tough. Whatever monsters out there, it's no match for our teamwork, and because of that, we've got a cloudy paw sprint and a painted hut. Fabulous. Can we do that now? Oh, we can. We can make it empty, red cedar, or let's paint it. Let's paint it. <laughs> and what's over here? What can we put there? Uh, a cloudy paw print, or oh, keep it empty. Let's put a cloudy paw print. Oh, nice! <laughs> well, it's looking brighter than it was. I'm still not sure about the uh, the papers on the floor, but it's nicer than it was. Maybe we can put the papers actually on. Uh, maybe it's like oh no, we can't. We can't do that. Never mind. Let's put the papers back down there. Oh, nice! It does change. I apologize for dragging you into this mess again. I will take care of this issue myself if I weren't so spindly and reclusive. I know what you're thinking. Why don't I just ask Chandler? But I could never do that. Chandler was far too pure. He's not ready for this world of chaos and turpitude. I wondered where that was coming from then, and I realized it was just Snoppy giving us a heads up. Now, we wanted to come back up here anyway because of... Um, Lisbeth being up in the mountain, I think, with Agabel. The only thing that I don't want to do, though, is I don't want it to create an end game. But I guess that, we, that we've that we got no choice. I think that we're going to have to come in this direction anyway. First of all, we need to go and find where the Scoopy Banoopy is. Did we go and check around this area? I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, this was the entrance that we came in when we first came to this area. But... we. I think according to the map, we should be able to get further up this way somewhere. Unless, is there another, um, what do you call them? The trampolines that we can bounce on to get further up. Well, what's that? 
Right, I think this is just to Chandler's and Snoopy's old hut. Uh, yeah, we've scanned already in there. Let's see if we can go further up this way. And then... Oh, what's going on over there? What are these two talking about? Wow! Five hours go by pretty fast when we're working together, Wambi. And now that the avalanche is cleared away, we can go explore the top of the mountain. Trivi, I'm almost 50, and my back's at least 100. Let's go lie down for a spell. What? We can go further up? I was expecting it to be like some complicated challenge to unlock it. Let's go up there right now. I was not expecting this today. I was expecting to unlock the bridge, but it looks like we're heading into Frosty Peak. Uh, let's scan some of these new snacks. So we've got a Mount Sodi. It hates fire, chocolate, peanut butter, I think, and chilies. And this bug washes away sauce and somehow stays unfrozen in this cold. You know, we never do the more information. Let's do the more information. Chandler, for extreme energy and even more extreme cavities. Okay, what's this? Is this a new type of sauce? Oh no, it's more peanut butter. And somebody's got a campfire going. Let's have a look what's around here. Can we just catch this? Let's see if we can just catch it. Oh, he's not happy. Oh, he's not happy at all. Oh, what? <laughs> he was not, not happy about that at all. Ah. Can I grab it? Yes, I caught it. Although now we keep getting hit by... Uh, actually, is it another one of the lollies? Let's have a look. No, this is Scoopy Banupi. It catches prey in its four legs and freezes them. Get away fast and it loves chocolate. Okay, so we could probably try and talk it into there. Does this... I wonder if this will um, unfreeze it. Well, this is a track it's going down anyway. Um, I wonder, do we need to get it to walk into one of the fires? Let me just check where else it's going. And what else is up here. Scoop up a newbie, okay. And what else is here? What's that? A creamy patch. This melt, uh, this melty pile of cream and cookies is evidence of a book snack. This book snack sometimes appears at night or seems to appear at night. Something hiding in the bush over there. Yeah, we know. Oh, what was that? What is it? An Insta bug. This unusual sheesh kabug loves the spotlight. I'm surprised Wiggle doesn't like eating them. If it likes another a bug that shows off, just like Wiggle does. Okay, anyway, let's concentrate. We need to capture this Scoopy Banupi. Uh, let me just scan it again so that I can see its path and work out how we're going to do it. Mm. Ah! Don't come for me. Ah. There we go. Let me go up here one minute. Ah, I can't go up there. Can I? Yeah, I can. Okay, I'm going to see what it says about uh, the Scoopy Panoopies. Uh, where are you? Bugopedia, where are you? Not that one, this one. Okay, Frosty Peak. So first of all, the Mount Sodi. Uh, this bug washes away. Okay, we've already read that. We know that. Scoopy Panoopy. It's fruity, sweet, aggressive, frosty and breakable. And loves chocolate. Okay, we already know that. It catches prey in its four legs and freezes them. Yeah, we read that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how do we get it? Oh, what's that? A flutter jam. This exclusive flyer is looking for its favourite sauce. It wants to be coated in it. It wants to be coated in peanut butter. And did something else just pop up then as well? It did. What's that? A chippy, it climbs as quick as lightning. It could be tripped right off the wall. And is there another one there? Oh no, that's another plus to jam. 
Okay, because I keep getting distracted by all the new bug snacks. I keep losing this one. <laughs> Uh, okay, we need to try to talk this one. I wonder if we can maybe get it to bang into... Uh, maybe get it to bang into one of the fires or something. Maybe. And try to defrost it. Uh, let's go over here and prepare for it. Okay, so if we can try and talk... This, uh, try and tempt the Scoopy Banoopy down into the fire. Mm. Okay, so we want it to come from there, into there, down to there, and then into there. Come on. Ah! What? I just fell off the mountain! <laughs> Ah. ah, okay, we need to get some more of these. Wait, what? Oh, it's, I'm sure it's the chocolate that it likes. Let's just see if it'll do it with peanut butter. Ah, put, ah, no, I'm gonna put that away. Will it follow us into the into the water? Maybe we can defrost it this way. Oh no, the water's cold anyway. Ah, I can't get out. Hmm. Ah, oh, stop. Come on, come round here. Can we... Oh, wait. What's that? A chilly nilly. Flying and freezing cold thorn, it might bring it down. Okay, I wonder if... I wonder if the chilli sauce will defrost them. No. Hmm. Okay, what else do I have? What other tricks? Okay, so we've got... Uh, uh, part of the problem is I don't know how to defrost the Scoopy Banoopy and also there's going to be some other in, uh, bug snacks that also need defrosting before we can catch them. So we need to work that bit out first. Let's go and have a look what's up at the top of the mountain. Uh, see if there's anything up here that can help. Also, still hear the, the whistling. I'm sure I just heard it then. No, oh, that isn't anything. Aha! Look, what's that there? A studler. This boiling snack is a source of warmth in the bitter cold. And it loves uh, the chili sauce by the looks of it. And that one we've already discovered, the chili nilly. Is there anything else around here? Let's see if we can get further up. I think this is where Egabel and um, Lisbeth are. Look, this is a camp. A jelly goop. This glob of jelly is evidence of a bug snack. The bug snack seems to appear during the day. That's the one that's flying above. Ah, what else is around here? All of Egabel and Lisbeth's stuff. A frozen campsite. A dangerous place to settle down. But the view is incredible. The cold makes it hard to tell how long this place has been here. Jelly goops, jelly goops, more jelly goops. What's that? A frozen skeleton, a lost explorer from relative mod relatively modern times. 
Ooh, spooky. I hope this is not... Please don't tell me this is Lisbeth or Egabel. That would be quite sad. Ooh, what's that? A melty snack pod. Hidden around the frosted peak, the temperature keeps it from melting. Mm. We need to work out the, sco the Scoopy Banoopy. Yes! Ah, quick! Ah, sugar! Ah! Okay, well, I got the Mount Soldy anyway. And I saw how to make him uh, d defrost, is to walk, walk him into this. Ah! Yes! Ah! Okay, stop, 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 it's going crazy! Why? Why can I not do it? What, what do I need to do to get it? Um, maybe this? Ah. Oh. oh, he's done it! Quick! Ah! What? Whew, okay. We need to catch a Scoopy Banoopy, but I don't know how to do it. I've managed to split it up with the fire. And... What's hiding in that bush? Ah, okay. So everything is hiding in this bush now. A few moments later. Okay, the Scoopy Banoopy is back. Let's see if I can make him run into the fire and collect all his his delicious parts. Come on, I'm here. Yeah, I don't know how to capture him. Look, how would that capture him? I I don't understand it. Okay, he's gonna explore, but I don't know how to grab his different parts. Ah, falling off the mountain again. Okay, can I use a trick shot? <gasps> Wait, he's done it. Okay, so now I need to work out how to uh, how to collect these. So maybe if I can set the trip shot up and aim something like this. Ah, yeah, this one there. I got up an upper. So I need. Uh, Oh, I caught a Scoopy Banoopy. I didn't need to catch all the different separate parts. I was expecting to have to capture all the different separate parts. Whew, okay. That was, I don't know how that happened. I didn't really kind of get it. I know that I bumped him into the fire and then I set up a trip shot, but I didn't really need the trip shot, I don't think. Or if I did, I didn't see it. So anyway, the point is we've got a Scoopy Banoopy. So let's run back down to Snoopy and feed him. Uh, the banana. 
Oh, do you have the new pee? Okay, Snoppy. Hey, Snops. Yes, yes, hello. Um, Hi, we've got your uh, Banupi. Let's eat. A Banupa, not a Banupi. And let's change our head. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious. Thank you, Chum, for feeding me that random bug snack for no reason. And while we're enjoying frivolous activities, I have another for you. Meet me out back. I'm afraid that our success may provoke a counterattack from the Grumpinati. However, I have defenses prepared. Oh, well, almost prepared. I've set up flares around town. They should ward away any predator snacks looking to take action against us. Um, okay. Tell me what I need to do. I'm so glad you asked. Did you know that my trip shot can do more than, well, trip? It can also spread fires. Or spread waters. Harness the elements of nature, if you will. With that in mind, you should be able to light the rest of my flares. Okay, and that might help us when we're back up in Frosted Peak to defrost some of the, uh, the bug snacks up there. So let's have a look. Light all the all the flares. Ooh, ah, this one there. Okay, I get it. With the trip shot, and then the trip uh, linking them will set them on fire. So it looks like this one should be able to reach. Here, let's pop that one on top. And then aim it to there. Hey, where, where did you go? Um, wait, you're supposed to go on top. And then if I come back over here, it should be able to aim, yeah, and then fire. Ah, there we go. Ah! Did I set some of the poor bug snacks on fire? Man. No, I hope that they're alright. Okay, well that's one. Then, where's the other one? Ah, it's one over here. Yes. Okay, so from there up to there. I forget we can go up to this part. I keep thinking that if I walk too far up, it's going to take us back into Garden Grove. Which then means that I should be able to set that one on fire. Okay, now we're on a roll. From there. Whoa, bro, you're gonna burn down Snacksburg with those things. Why are you lighting all this stuff up? Because I do what I want, that's why. Um, it's classified Snorpy. Bro, I saw Snorpy set these up. If you don't want to tell me what he's up to, I'll respect that. But don't treat me like I'm stupid, got it? Yeah, but it's up to Snorpy to tell you. And also, I just called you Snorpy instead of Chandler, so uh, do you want. Is that. Yeah, there's one on top of there. Okay, let me see if we can go upstairs into uh, Eggwell's place. And Elizabeth's place. Wah! Okay, that might work. If we can go from uh, from the top of here and then aim it down to that one. Ah, no. Oh, nearly, yeah. Ah, there we go, that did it. And then we could do the same again from here, across to this place. Ah! <laughs> Set myself on fire. And then the final one do, 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 do. from on top of here to can we reach it? No. Yeah, there we go. Oh no. Okay, let me see if I can do it from on top. Okay, 
Okay, so from there. Uh, down to there. Here we go. There we go. Ah, set this up on fire again. <laughs> ah, stop. <laughs> Let's go speak to Snoopy. Snoopy, I set my ass on fire. Uh, I let the flares, and also I've got burnt ass. Excellent. We are protected for the time being. Um, Chandler was asking some questions, and I kind of lied for you. Yes, he does that sometimes. He's adorably inquisitive. You let me worry about that. I'm very used to worrying. For now, ease your mind. I'll let you know if any more trouble arises. Okay, no worries. Uh, I mean, oh, poor book snack is still uh, still on fire. <laughs> Well, if it makes you feel better, my ass was on fire too, so there we go. Okay, let's go and pick our mail up. And um, I still want to see if we can get the bridge sorted out, because I don't know how to do that just yet. Oh, yeah. Wow, you've got a good eye, bestie. You've been scanning so much stuff that I can't even read it all. Not that I'm reading your journal while you sleep. Keep up the good work, and we've got some privacy curtains. Okay, let's see if we can hang them up. Uh, no. Where can we put them? Here? No. Uh, let's have a look around. Ah, here we go. Privacy curtains. Wait. Wait, you didn't do it. How do I do it? I selected it, it didn't do it. Oh, we have to unlock the other part as well. I oh, know it's put some on, that's fine. Oh, there we go, it's just not put it on that last window. <laughs> well, it's looking pretty colorful in there, it looks quite nice, I'm not gonna lie. A little bit trippy, but it's better than it was. And it's free, all these free gifts up everybody. Okay, I don't know how to get across. Let, let me. Go, I want to go back to Scorch Gorge and see if there's any clues on how to repair the bridge. Let's go and have a look there. I don't think that Crondo left any clues on how to repair the bridge, so I'm not 100% sure how to do it, but maybe there's a puzzle that we can solve to help to do that. Oh, wait. Chandelo's here to help. Hey, bro! Just got done fixing up the old bridge. Would have done it sooner, but Cromdo wanted me to pay him for the rights of repair. Whatever that means. Anyway, no need to thank me. Just go find Shelda, all right? I knew he would help us. I knew it. Good old Chandler. Okay, we can go across to the bridge. Let's go and do this. Let's go and find out what's up there. So two new areas we've unlocked. We've unlocked Frosty Peak, and now we're going to unlock Sizzling Sands. I wonder if we can catch a Buffalo Cost and bring a new Grumpus back. Let's see what's going on over in this area. So we've got a loaded Spuddy. It smashes anything that makes it angry. Yeah, they're kind of a little bit um, grumpy, those kind of bug snacks. We've got Hot Sauce. Uh, what's that? We've got a breakfasty bits. This syrupy pile of meat and bread is evidence of a bug snack. This bug snack seems to appear during the day. Oh wait, can we go and catch some of these? Go, 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 go. Go, run. Let's see if we can catch it. Yes. Ah, nah, I think I just, <laughs> I don't think I caught it. I just set my ass on fire again. <laughs> Anyway, let's scan some more. What's that in the sky? Cheese. Cheese makes everything better. Even bug snacks. Uh, 
on that. A praying picantis, a large aggressive and destructive, best to be avoided. Okay, well we'll do that for now until we know what we're doing. A moths are supreme. It looks like it could use a good slicing, for sure. A buffalo cost. There it is. The spicy menace dive bombs into its favourite sauces. Actually, and its favourite sauces are ranch and fire sauce. Let's uh, see if we can grab one of them. And then what are these down here? Loaded spuddies. Loaded spuddies are probably going to come and whoop us in the ass. Oh, what's this over here? This is probably a Trifney quest here to look at these statues. And that one. An eggless shell. This snack is protected by a hard shell. It'll take force to crack it open. Well, let's see if we can get that to dive bomb, first of all. And actually we want some, uh, some ranch, that's what we want. And let's see if we can kill two birds with one stone. Get it to dive bomb into that. Um, no, can we not grab it? Ah, we, no, but we can scoop these up. Where's the other one? Let's scoop that one up. Yes. Push it out down there. Ah. Uh, wait, how do I catch all these? Let me try. No. How do I catch them? Uh, okay, let me try something else. Maybe I can just put um, these traps down. Oh wait, what's that there? A flat jackarack stirs up dust devils, flinging everything in its path high into the air. So basically, all these bug snacks here are going to attack us. Oh, what's that one? Oh, an eggler. Without its shell, this egg makes for an easy meal. But we want to get a buffalo cost, which is... Where did you go? There. Hmm. Um... I wonder, can we s still put a trap down for it? even though it needs to dive bomb and then maybe put some buffalo ranch in the trap ah, no I didn't get it Try. Yes, I got it. <laughs> I got it. Ah. Oh, I didn't get it. What? I tried to get it and I didn't. Okay, I just realized also this is a pyramid, so I wonder if there's something around here. Uh, let's see if there's something up here. Oh. A snackophagus. This ancient stone coffin is stuck shut. 
Perhaps it needs to be cut open. Ooh, we could maybe try to wrench it open. Hmm. Ah, there's another Gumpus. Let's see if this one can help us. Mm, Shall this there? one has many questions. So it is my wisdom shall be shared. Okay, talk to me, Shelda. How do I catch the buffalo cost? Um, but also, will you come to Snacksburg? In seeking inner peace, Shelda has renounced material temptations. So it is that Shelda is really grumping hungry. Seek the yellow sauce within the great maw of stone. On this, I shall be sustained. What keeps um, banging in here? Look. Oh, it's the egg. We don't need the egg. We need uh, some cheese sauce for Shelda. A scarf pepper lurks invisibly on desert rocks and roasts anything that gets too close to it. And this, Incherito? As long as it's under the sand, it can't be caught, but it can't dig through solid rock. Oh, what's that? Oh, a sordid. This liquidy bug lives in the oasis and won't tolerate the presence of sauce. Okay, so the cheeser, it zips across the dunes at extreme speed. It's too bad the trip shot doesn't stick to sand. And it loves whatever that is and peanut. Uh, peanut butter. So the trip shot doesn't stick to sand, but it might sit on top of this. Um, over here, even here, yeah, ah, okay, so this might do it, now we just got to wait for it to come all the way back round again, and then try and find where there's another two cheese sauces. Oh, what? Ah. ah, I got it. Okay, where did she go? There she is. Hard to see in the sandstorms. Hey, Shelda. Bug snacks are not. Uh, Seek the yellow sauce. The yellow within sauce. the great maw of stone. On this, I shall be sustained. Oh, I thought she wanted like one of the little cheese things. So we've got to try and find out where, uh, where the sauce is. Uh, can I grapple it? Ah, I did it. Okay. I just needed to work out where it was. I thought it was going to be a bug snack. But it was just uh, trying to find that hidden cheese sauce up there. Hey, Shelda, I think we've done it. Here's your material sustenance. Ooh, ooh, yum is one, and one is craving reapers. Consider the sandscape a reflection of the mind. One unable to escape its dry embrace. First, an act of rebirth to break out of my current shelter. So too must you break shells, crack open the egglers, give them new life. Okay, I did one of them already. Let's see if we can do the other one. Where was the other one? Uh, this one inside. Is this, what, is this cluster's one? 
Okay, there's an Eggler there. We need to find something to come over and bang into it. Let's see if we can convince one of these to come over. Oh, wait. What's that one? That one That one will do it. What does it like? It loves ketchup. Oh, wait. Going, don't go. Oh man. Okay, can I can I bump that one out? Hey, where did you go? Aha, okay. I think I need to get the uh, the buffalo to dive onto it again. Let's put it down there. And then what did it like again? Ranch and fiery sauce. did it okay let's go back and speak to Shelda hi Shelda I, I broke the eggs and made an omelette except I didn't really make the, the omelette I too have burst from my shell and so oozes forth my spiritual yoke yet obstacles devour that yoke the sinister peccantis of temptation. To truly destroy these obstacles, one must break them down into their elements. Break two praying peccantises. Okay. Uh, I think they were up on the rock. Hi. <laughs> I think it's them. Yeah, Prime Picantesis. So it loves fiery sauce and cheese sauce, and it fears um, the. I think they're the loaded baked potatoes. Um, and is, is that another one there? Yeah, that's another one there. And what's that so that looks. Peanut butter, let me try and... Okay, let's cover it in peanut butter. Ah, you did it though! Let me go, let me go! It's gonna explode. It's gonna do it. I think. I think because of everything attacking it. Oh, it's gonna do it. Come on, break up. No. Oh. 
Oh yes, it did it. It split up. Ah, I don't know how it did it. I think I just needed to get like loads of the uh, bug snacks to, to bump into it. Let's grab some of this. And Shelda, where are you? Uh, where was she? She's back over here. Hey Shelda, I have no idea how we did it, but we broke apart the brain picantices. Um, yeah, I've unblocked the obstacle. Snack of temptation removed. Yet, one still lost in darkness, seeking the light. For only in the light of Mother Nature can the toxin be purged. <gasps> Seek a rasby deep below. A hidden ruin, a maze of trials. Guide this rasby to one's side. Mm, guide a black raspberry from the under ruins to Shelda. So I think the under ruins are somewhere around here, but how do we unlock it? I think, and there's a grumpus on each side. Are these the under ruins? I need to get a pizza to land on there. Okay, so we've got that. A mother supreme. It looks like it could use a good slicing. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's a trip to the hospital. <laughs> Mother Supreme. Hmm. Okay, well we don't have the slicer. What else? And that needs slicing open as well. I don't think we've got the slice tool yet. Especially cracked ground, I should find a way to smash it. Aha! We could use the buffalo. What's it called? There, the buffalo cost. Let's put some spicy sauce on it. Oh, and we can catch that as well at the same time. Ah, oh, no, I can't catch it. Ah, oh, now we're running around crazy underground. Okay, let's. what's going on down here? Let's have a look. Chocolate. Everybody's favourite. grapple some of this off yes let's have a look what's down there first ah oh, there it is okay let's just have a little look at this track first so we've got to try and guide the little blackberry or the black raspberry Raspberry. How do you say it? The black raspberry. All the way out. Ah, oh, we can go down for it. Oh. Okay, a unique raspberry. It will need help escaping the underground. Um, okay, so we're going to need a little bit of help from Boogie Ball. And let me cover that in chocolate as well. Ah. 
볼까? 한 o 스 n t Let's go. Oh, come on, wake up. Oh, there we go. He's he's still following. He's just hiding inside the uh, inside the hiding bush. He's too scared. Let's go this way. Oh, now you wait there for me while I quickly go around. There we go. Okay. Come on, little uh, black raspberry. Follow me. Nice and safe, all the way round. Oh, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What? Okay, let's keep him. Uh, let's keep him over in the hiding bush for now. grapple that one out I think I can grapple it I can grapple it out there we go and then I can guide them through okay let's do that we don't need to keep them in the hiding bush let's follow that round don't go in no don't go in the water don't go in the water all the way through that's it wait there I'm coming I'm coming Uh, oh. <laughs> there we go. Ta -da! Okay. I got your raspberry from the darkness. Oh, what once was lost now is found. The path to light determined. The time has come. Egress from the sandscape. So it is that Shelter survives. Um, I don't understand any of that. But anyway, it sounds like you might want to come back to Snacksburg. Let's see. It was a metaphor. Now to Snacksburg goes me to bring such clarity to my followers. <sighs> ah, my grumping butt is so sore. <laughs> so is mine because my ass kept sitting on fire okay I can't believe it we got Sheldy back to uh, <laughs> we got Sheldy back to Snacksburg I'm still not 100% sure how to catch a buffalo crust but uh, let's put um, the buggy ball away and let's head back to Snacksburg so we managed to get Sheldy back and uh, did we get some more mail we did and also we still need hey, to... Oh, hi. Hey, Grumble. You have something you want to talk about? What's going on? I hate to say it, but Wambus has a point. Bigger snacks means more to love. And they might be a bit... smarter. Might respond better to my training, too. Please get me the biggest, snackiest bug snacks you can find. Please? Uh, I'll try. Donate a praying picantis to Grumble and donate a scoopy banupi. Um I can try that. The thing is, I don't know how to catch the brain picantis at the moment because they keep setting my ass on fire, Grumble. Do you understand that? My ass is on fire. Okay, let me pick up some mail and then uh, make some donations to Grumble. In returning from the waste, one overflows with gratitude to you who finds a lost. 
May this herbaceous token bring you peace of mind, clarity, and a better overall smell. Shelda. Hanging planter. All right. Hey, Shelda. Uh, well, I'll be stranger. Well, I'll be stranger. You've got every kind of sauce that grows. Thanks to you, I've got plenty of harvesting to do. You just drop by the farm whenever you want to talk sauce. And because of that, I've got a sauce plant seedling and a sauce rug. Okay. Uh, let's do something about that. Uh, that's not open yet. Can I put a seedling here? I can. Sauce plant seedling. And let's change this out for a, for a nicer rug. A sauce rug. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I kind of like it. Uh, it's kind of getting there. It's all right. What can we put on there? For now, we can put another Grumpus on there. Okay, I'm going to go make some more donations to, to Gramble's uh, little sanctuary over here. And then let's see what we've got. So he can have a Lotus Buddy. He can have a Barbecue Bunga. A Cheeser. A flapjack. What are you looking at? What is it? A flat jack grabber and a mitsoli. Uh, oh, what? The size of your heart has grown, and also, so has your inventory space. Keep donating. Fabulous. Um, he's already got that, but we can have another one, and then we can free up our plot. And look at them all in here. <laughs> <laughs> Let's pick up some sauces while we're here. Evening. Some cheeses, some chocolates, uh, some ketchups, some hot sauces, uh, some peanut butters, and some ranch. And we still need to fill out these plots. And oh. Why is that flashing? Is that just because we can make more donations and it's still expecting more? Uh, not a few, I don't, Cromdo. Or do I? Let's have a look in his shop. What's he got in his shop? We've not scanned his place yet. A shifty, surly salesman. Bitterly pragmatic. He hates Befika. Not a lot of people like Befika, but I do. And uh, what's this? Oh, Cromdo's ties. A rather deadly collection of ties. Could Cromdo be hiding a secret? Maybe. Maybe he's an undercover investigator too. Uh, or maybe he's part of the conspiracy theory. And an unfinished sign. Cromdo needs to work on his spelling. Yard sard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's enough snooping around. We're, we're acting like Befika. I think we're going to call it a day there now that we've got Sheldy back. And <sighs> another we fine day behind us. It is another fine day, Philbo. You're right. And we still need to work out how to capture um, the fiery bugs. I don't know how to Ooh, cool them down and catch them. Uh. It is chilly. Or is it? It's not chilly where I am. Uh, what are you two talking about? Oh, Shelda's oh. back. Wiggle and Gramble are going to be so stoked. Oh, yes, one has returned from a great spiritual sojourn. So it is. One would really like to lie down. Sounds intense. I bet you're overflowing with wisdom now. Go ahead and lay it on me, Sheldog. Ah, oh, yes, uh, wisdom. Um... The strength you seek cannot be found within toxins, for the truest strength is the will to resist. Whoa, I get it. I gotta check my snacks, and if they look toxic, I won't eat them. No, one is not. You... Ah, oh, clearly you need more guidance. Grump, yeah, I do. I'll bring the others, too. Oh, one is sure it will be enlightening. 
As she runs off to the toilet, I think we'll leave it there while uh, uh, Shelda meditates on the toilet. Um, that's it for now. If you liked, oh well, we, we'll come back and interview you next time. Uh, if you enjoyed that gameplay, don't forget to like and subscribe. I know everybody says it, but uh, it does make a difference. So, um, thanks for watching. Episode 10, can you believe it? Um, so anybody who subscribed so far, I just want to say thank you. If you like today's gameplay, consider liking and subscribing the video. Uh, it does mean a lot and uh, it does make a difference to the video. I know everybody says it, but it really does. And uh, other than that, thanks for watching. I'll see you next Sunday. Bye.